Hello, I'm Matt Lasowski with Stevenson Equipment. Today we're going to do a walk around presentation on a 3CX14 backhoe. I'd like to start by talking about the powertrain. We're going to open up the hood here. Have really easy access to the hood. Just reach in here. Ground level access. There's a little T handle here. We're just going to pull that. We have an automotive style hood. We're going to open up. We have complete access to the engine compartment. Uh, all your daily checks here can easily be performed. You got your dipstick here, your transmission uh, dipstick there. Also when you start the machine up it has uh, part of their automate feature is that it checks all of your uh, your fluids for you. So if you forget to check and you were running low as soon as you turn the key on it, it's going to give you a warning saying you're low uh, on some of your fluids. So as far as the engine, uh, JCB's been building their engine since 2004. They have over 600,000 engines uh, in circulation. Excellent engine. This engine here is a 109 horsepower engine. They also offer a 91 horsepower engine. Uh, the interesting thing about the JCB engine is it's matched with the JCB built transmission and axles. So the whole powertrain is completely made by JCB. So this allows for extreme efficiencies uh, in our powertrain. We actually deliver more torque to the ground than any other backhoe for our engine size. Torque. Torque is how much power is put to the ground. So horsepower is a good uh, judge of power, but torque is where the rubber meets the road. So the 91 horsepower engine has 320 foot-pounds of torque, okay? On a comparable Caterpillar, 102 horsepower engine, almost well, 11 horsepower more, they're putting down 322 foot-pounds of torque. So we have a huge, efficient, uh, huge efficiency right there. On our 109 horsepower engine, we're putting 381 foot-pounds of torque to the ground. Uh, no, no one even has a back that has that much torque. Uh, the CAT has a 115 horsepower machine that has 360 foot pounds of torque. So, also on the back over here, we got the I said about the JCB built transmission. We offer uh, several different transmission options for the customer. We have our four speed power shift transmission, we also have a four speed power shift transmission with torque lock. That's what this sticker here is. Uh, and then we also offer a six speed auto shift transmission with torque lock. Now this particular machine here has the six speed, which is a real nice feature, especially if you're doing any, uh, you know, a fair amount of roading. Uh, so one nice thing about the six speed transmission is you have a, an automatic kick down button here in the ground. So when you're running the machine around, Say you're into a pile of material, you're running around in second gear, around your yard, you hit this button here, it's going to drop you down one gear, so you're going to be in first gear, go into the pile, get your scoop of gravel or dirt, hit it again, and you're back in second gear. So super easy, you don't have to sit there and twist the knob up here on your power shift all the time. So that's a real nice option there. Uh, now the way the transmission and the torque lock works is JCB has a unique uh, feature here, the torque lock. What this does is it takes a torque converter and it's going to lock it. So at high speed and high gear, fourth gear on the four speed and then fourth and fifth gear on the six speed transmission, a green light will come on uh, in the dash and that will let you know that it's in torque lock mode. So what that does is it locks the torque lock, the torque converter, and then you can basically get uh, great speed up and down the road. Uh, hill applications is when you really notice the efficiency. Uh, cut down a lot of time and a lot of fuel savings also. So it's a real nice option if you're doing a lot of roading. Let's talk a little bit about the tire options from the JCB Backo. This machine here is equipped with the Michelin uh, radial tires. We have an 18 inch tire here in the front and a 28 inch tire here in the back. And the radial tires are kind of a unique option uh, for the JCB. Not many manufacturers offer the radial tires. There are some advantages by going with a radial. You are going to pay a little bit more money up front for the tire, 
but you're going to get a longer uh, tread life. You're going to get better performance in the ground. You're going to get more traction. Uh, that's why they put them on graders and wheel loaders. And you're also going to get a little bit more cushioning uh, when you're roading and roading applications. So some nice advantages of the radial tires. Now we'll talk about a little bit about the, the bias fly tires. This machine here has got the 17.5 fronts and 24 inch rear tires. They are bias plies. We also offer a 18 inch bias ply in the front and a 24 inch here in the back. So we got a lot of tire options for you to consider and depending on your application, each tire has its own benefit. So this machine here is tier four final client. Now our tier four final engines only require uh, SCR. So with that, we do have a def tank. Now with def fluid, the very most important thing is to keep the def clean, okay? So one big fear is that you would put diesel fuel in the def tank and that would really cause a lot of damage to the machine. So JCB has a different key for the def tank. So we're gonna open the key up here, put the key in here. Turn the lock, open it up. Unlike the fuel tank, which is on the other side, that operates off of this key. So it's gonna be really hard for your operator or yourself to accidentally put diesel fuel in this tank. One of my initial concerns with the depth was where we live up here in the north, uh, we do see some extreme cold temperatures and the depth is over 60% water and can crystallize. And so JCB has an in-tank heater and they've actually tested this machine up in Canada where they have even a colder temperatures up there with no problem. So it's a good system and it's going to hold up for us. Another nice thing about the JCB is our steps. A very large step. Uh, it's a cast aluminum, so if you do break it, you can replace it. Uh, we also have a toolbox integrated with our step. Lots of storage for chains, grease guns. Walking around over here, this machine has a fender option on there, which is a nice option, especially if you're doing some roading. You don't want the road splash off your head, your windshield. Moving around here more to the front of the machine. JCB has built their tie rod end behind their axle here. So it's protected from rocks or other type of trees possibly. So it's built in protection right there in your tie rods. Okay, moving around here to the front, we have a built-in bumper protection. This is for when you're loading your triaxle trucks. The guys don't get too far in and damage this hood. Uh, you'd be surprised how many guys try to get way too close in there. So this is going to stop your hood here from getting damaged. Uh, also underneath here, JCB offers three different counterweight options. We have a 220 pound counterweight option, we have a 397 pound option, and a 750 pound option. And this machine here is equipped with the 750. We're going to open up this grill here. We have a battery disconnect here. So if you leave the machine out on the road, we can disconnect this and uh, no one can tamper with your machine. This machine here is also equipped with a 1300 cold cranking amp battery. So if you're in the north up here where it's a little cooler, you can get a little bit more cold cranking amps so the machine will start a little better for you in the winter. Nice option to consider. talk a little bit about the loader and the loader bucket here. Uh, JCB has a unique tool carrier design uh, with mechanical self-leveling. Very nice feature and benefit for customers. Uh, always is going to keep your bucket at a level position wherever you leave it. So up or down uh, in the loader cycle. 
which is really nice when you have a set of forks and you're handling material. We have multiple different bucket arrangements here. This is a six in one multi-purpose bucket, 92 inch wide, 1.3 yard capacity. We also offer general purpose buckets. We have a 92 inch wide, 1.4 yard bucket and a 96 inch wide, 1.6 yard bucket. We also have the availability of a hydraulic quick coupler on the back. You can get uh, a wide variety of attachments to put on this. All the buckets that I had mentioned, uh, you can get a hydraulic powered broom, uh, a snow plow, or just some of the attachments you can put on here making it a very versatile uh, piece of equipment. Okay, moving around to the back. First thing here to point out is we have the flip over stabilizer pads. We do also offer just straight dirt pads, but these will lift up so you have the best of both worlds. Extremely heavy built uh, king post area. Um, best class leading ground clearance here. So you're going up to a pile, you don't have to worry about hitting your back. Uh, excellent ground clearance. Uh, also class leading. Uh, Swing torque when you're back filling your ditches. Uh, great swing torque. It's not a published spec, but it's one that every contractor, uh, it's important to every contractor. Moving right around here, one thing you'll notice about the JCB is the hose routing. Now, you don't see any hoses up and over uh, our boom to get caught on trees uh, or anything. Coming down, we also have our extend hoe here. You can see that the lighter part of our extend hoe goes out with our machine. Uh, the competitors, the heavier part of the dipper goes out. Uh, where this comes into play is an application just like this. We have a heavier attachment here. We have a HELAC attachment here on the back. And so we have some extra weight. And when you're out digging, uh, it makes a big difference. Uh, so you have excellent stability. You have better stability with this design right here than you do with a competitor. So you're going to be better on this application. Also offers uh, very easily uh, adjustability here. We have four set bolts on each side. If the machine gets a little bit of play in it, you can simply loosen the, the lock nut here and then tighten, tighten each side up a little bit take the play out of it. Very easy to adjust. Uh, very simple design. Another nice option is the lifting link. Uh, very nice clevis if you're doing any heavy lifting. It's a good safe way uh, you know, to wrap a chain in here as opposed to wrapping around a bucket. Uh, also here we have two different holes. In this position right here you're going to get a little bit more rotation uh, on the back end of your bucket. So if you're doing some straight wall uh, box culverts, you may want it this way. Uh, this hole here is actually going to give you a little bit more uh, breakout force. So that would be called the power position. This machine here is equipped with a power HELAC coupler and a three foot general purpose bucket. We could put all the way down from a uh, 12 inch bucket, 18 inch bucket, 24 inch bucket up to this 36 inch uh, general purpose. We also put some smooth lip buckets on here. And uh, the grading attachment, the HELAC coupler is a very nice option here. Uh, your bucket's actually gonna swing uh, 90 degrees this way and 90 degrees that way. So it's gonna lend itself handy you know, for lots of applications. Okay, we'll talk a little bit about the cab. Uh, and the JCB, there's quite a bit to go over here. Uh, first thing here is with the window. We have two large windows here in the back. Okay, that's going to clip around here in the block. Uh, we have a, one of my favorite features is the one piece glass here in the back. Uh, really good visibility down here to the ground outside. Uh, maybe you have a ground man here on the ground need to hear him or see him. You have nothing obstructing your view here. Some of the competitive machines have a, several different pieces of glass here and over time they build up with dust and uh, this here we don't have that at all. So 
So just a real nice feature there. Third thing our cab has that's unique is we have a polymer floor. So if you have a lot of salt, uh, dirt, or anything like that, you don't have to worry about the cab floor rusting out. Uh, also could take a hose in here and hose it off uh, real easy. So another nice feature. Okay, one thing we have here, uh, these are the new advanced easy controls. Uh, JCB offers three different uh, style backhoe controls, the advanced easy control, the easy control, and the standard SAE uh, backhoe controls. The wobble sticks back here in the back. Uh, these controls are electronic over hydraulic, uh, extreme, uh, extremely smooth. Uh, it's actually very hard to be jerky uh, with these style controls. The regular easy controls, uh, they are were designed to give the operator a little bit more feel when he's digging, so they, they can be uh, not as smooth as the advanced easy controls. Uh, one nice thing I like about the advanced easy control is how easy it is to move your bucket or your excavator uh, in either position. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. I'm going to put the switch here in an excavator. And where this comes into uh, play is if you were going into a building maybe that had a lower door or perhaps a power line or a tree or something like that it was above you and need to lower your back you can easily operate the machine in the forward position uh, without having to reach back uh, unsafely, uh, you know, lose track of the, the steering wheel here. You can do all that in the front very simply. A little buzzer will go off, but you can run the whole machine here from the back in the forward position here. Simply switch it back, hit the button, and you can easily run the loader. It's the exact same when you go in the digging position. Uh, you can run the loader when you're getting ready to move to a different spot. Maybe if you're trenching, you can just switch the loader, hit the button, pick it up, and then move. Uh, very operator friendly. I'd like to talk a little bit about the new automate features on the JCB backhoe. Um, some really nice automation here uh, for operators. First of all here we have a auto boom lock. As soon as you activate the excavator and uh, the boom lock will automatically disengage. So actually you have to really think about you know, locking and unlocking the boom. That takes care of all that. We have auto stabilizers. Um, Put the stabilizer legs down and then basically just push them back, they'll detent and then come up all by themselves. Just saving you a couple of precious seconds uh, around the job site. We also have auto smooth ride. And this is a real nice feature, uh, I think. When you're uh, basically what the auto smooth ride will do is it'll engage the smooth ride at a uh, predetermined uh, speed. So, for instance, when you're going into a pile of gravel, uh, the machine will be slow enough, it'll disengage the smooth ride and uh, allow you to put some down pressure on the bucket, get your loader material, and then, you know, if you're going to go to a truck, it'll, it'll, once it reaches a speed, it'll engage the smooth ride on again. So you don't have to sit here and constantly go back and forth between on or off your smooth ride like the older machines and competitive machines out there. So it's a real nice feature, especially if you're loading a lot of trucks. Uh, super nice feature. We also have uh, the front more like a cruise control. Uh, so just basically once you're rotating the machine, you can click that just like you're in your car. You can click it and it'll uh, stay at a predetermined uh, RPM there. We also have the throttle lock, which is a really nice uh, feature. Just saves you from having to keep adjusting your throttle when you're digging. You can leave it here, swing forward, swing back. Once you start uh, running your excavator, it'll automatically remember uh, your throttle. You won't have to worry about it standing at that RPM the whole time. So when you're in the front position, so just things to, to uh, make it easier to operate 
and uh, faster for the operator. Okay, with the advanced easy control machine, uh, you have a uh, tilting steering wheel and also a telescopic uh, steering wheel option here. So you can push or pull it up. Telescopic option is really nice, uh, especially when you're swinging the seat around your joysticks. Uh, don't hit the steering wheel here. Moving over to here, uh, a lot of people ask us questions about what these buttons are right here. Uh, first one is two-wheel drive, 2W, which is two-wheel brake. So if you were going to be wheel braking the machine, uh, if you wanted to do some tight turning, uh, you could do wheel brake. Uh, the other thing is JCB has power brakes, so you don't have to push as hard. You can hear they have a little bit of uh, pressure back there. Uh, the next switch up here is two-wheel drive, 4W, which is four-wheel brake. So this is a safety feature for when you're roading. Uh, you can be, you know, you don't want to be roading the machine in four-wheel drive, but it would be nice to have the four-wheel brake, so they give you that. And we have just four-wheel drive, four-wheel brake, of course. Over here, another nice uh, feature of a JCB is a transmission parking brake. It's actually... Uh, a direct linkage here to the transmission. You can't engage the transmission without this brake being disengaged. So you don't have to worry about operators driving through park and brake. Uh, nice thing there. A couple of the buttons here. This machine is equipped with a hammer bi-directional circuit. So this high-low button is going to give us some more controllability over our bi-directional circuit. So we're going to have two two flow settings. You're going to have a high setting and a low setting and uh, so you get more controllability over your attachment there in the back. We have a beacon light. We have our uh, lights in the cab. This here is a return to dig. You can activate your return to dig which will bring the bucket back to level. Uh, you can also turn it off. Then we have our bi-directional circuit in this edition. And then we have nothing as the auxiliaries are being off, and then we have a hammer circuit. And then we have our other light and our windshield wiper in the back. Also standard on the JCB 3CX14 Baco is Live Link. Okay, and what that is going to do is it is a telematic system, and basically will allow uh, the dealer and the owner to manage his uh, piece of equipment. Uh, it's going to give him a GPS location if he would ever need it. It's also going to help him maybe with some fleet management if he's a large fleet owner. you be able to see when services are due, uh, how the machine's being run. Uh, he can see uh, fuel economy, idle time. Uh, great resource uh, for people who own large fleets. And uh, it's just peace of mind for the owners. Another thing with JCB, we have a two-year bucket-to-bucket warranty. It's actually the, one of the best standard warranties in the industry. Uh, I think one of the things you can kind of gather from the walk-around presentation is they make this machine extremely versatile. If you want a certain option or for your application, maybe certain options are better, you can really uh, custom build a machine to fit your specific needs, uh, more so than any other machine out there in the market. Uh, so JCB is very concerned about their customers wants to make the machine just like you want it. Uh, just, I appreciate the time to do the walk around presentation with you. Thank you.